Good morning from Sitka, Alaska. We are gonna get off the boat today and go and explore Sitka. We have never been here before, so we are super excited to go and check it out. It is a beautiful day. Just pulling into Sitka, Alaska, and it is, of course, beautiful like the rest of Alaska. Is breakfast good? Yeah. Good? Thumbs up good? Yeah. Good? Yeah. You got yogurt and some watermelon and bacon and a biscuit. Is Dad Dad working? Yeah. Working, yeah. So you and me, we're having breakfast? We just pulled into Sitka. It's looking pretty. You wanna have fun today? Yeah? Okay. You waving everybody getting off the ship? Yeah? Yeah, everybody's getting off. Are we going to Alaska? Yeah. Are you excited? Do you got gloves on? Oh. <laughs> wow. Okay, let's go. Where are we at, Em? We are in Zitka. Our first time ever here, so I'm excited. I've done some research. Jack has no idea what we're doing, but we're gonna have fun. There's our ship. You do have to take a bus to get into town, so that's what we're gonna go ahead and do now. Port is hopping today. Shuttle to town, and then the tours go that way. It's a nice little map. We're about four miles from town. What is that? Can we take a picture in front of it? It's like 10 to 15 minutes to town, five miles. We are almost there. Uh, no, I like. Just as a heads up, if you are going to this port, it did take us between 30 to 45 minutes to actually get on a bus. What does the driver on the bus say? Oh, the wheels on the bus go round and round? Yeah. And then the bu driver says, move on back? Yeah. First things first, right when we got into town, it was time to check out some of the local shops and go shopping. All Alaskan salt. How cool. Sitka was originally owned by Russia, and 22 of its buildings are listed in the National Historic Registrar for historic places, including the Orthodox Church from 1848. However, the original church did burn down in 1966, and then it was later restored. Now let's go get some lunch. It's like a Russian dumpling, like think like a pierogi, but Russian style, so they're filled with either potato or meat, and I'm really excited. Apparently they should be delicious. Here we go. Let's go. Go eat. So that looks good. That does look good. So we did one potato and one And then beef. one meat. Yeah. Hot. It's like a pierogi meets chef with a cake. <laughs> In like the best way possible. <laughs> it's good. Meat's like gnocchi almost too. It's good. I was just saying that the sriracha and curry is an interesting mix together, but it works. Also interesting that that's like the traditional way of doing it for a Russian dumpling, but it's tasty. Poppy. A little bit of sour cream to cool it off. Is it good, Pop? No more. No more, you ate it all. All Look, gone. All gone. All gone, we ate all of it. All gone. But it's so good. I mean, you're gonna go a day without coffee. I know, it's rough. I wanted Starbucks this morning, but you said the line was too long and I was in the room with her, so, while you were working. And I haven't seen a coffee shop yet, so... And I'm about to hit my cut off, so I can't. It's almost three. This stop has over a hundred local artists that you can check out. Local, local Alaskan artists. I would definitely recommend it. Great stop. This 
So if you come out of the center where they drop you off from the buses, you come to Lincoln Street. If you make a left, there's a bunch of shopping. That's where the church is. And then if you make a right, you come this way and you have this beautiful path along the water. And this will lead you to the like totem park. And if you're going to go see the raptors or any of the other activities over there, there's also a little playground over this way that we're going to maybe, maybe go to. <laughs> And yeah, I mean, it's just a beautiful walk, even if you just want to explore and take in some scenery. Salmon run. Yeah. There's the salmon ladder. Salmon season, this is where you see the salmon running. It's, it's almost that time. It's like a little hatchery. Yeah, you got like a month. There's a bunch of paths all along here and there's a bunch of totems all along the paths that you can stop and take a peek at. I would highly suggest it. Great sightseeing, free activity. And there's some of the paths and stuff that you can take. Goes in through the woods. Definitely recommend it, but check out for bears. Be careful. There's a lot of bears in this area. Sitka was originally where the Clinkets used to live. It was the Clinkets that originally owned and took part in this land and it was like their native land and then Russia took over it and Sitka was actually the capital when Russia owned it and then eventually the U.S. took over the land but it was originally the capital of Alaska. It was in 1867 that Russia sold Sitka to the U.S. Another little fun tidbit about Sitka is it is actually the fifth most populated Alaskan city with about 5,000 residents. That's it, only 5,000. Back to the ship. Emma, thumbs up for Sitka. It was good. We didn't, we spent like two, three hours there. We had to wait 30 to 45 minutes just to get on the buses out. It was a lot faster getting back, but there was a little bit of a line. And yes, we didn't have too much time and we did explore and had a good time. How naps work when you're in a balcony uh -oh. with a two-year-old. I think I see Poppy. Mama, hold on. Oh, she, she just disappeared. Poppy, where'd you go? I think I hear hiccups. Come on, where'd you go? I got you! Yeah. You want to go eat? Yeah. No. I think we should go eat dinner. You want a Poppy cocktail? Is it good? Are we going to go to the main dining room? Can you say room? hi? How are you? How'd you get the dog on cue? <laughs> Obvious guy from me. <laughs> hey, mommy and what? dad. <laughs> I'm gonna Go. get you. I'm gonna get you. Oh, I'll come to get you. I'm gonna get you. Uh oh, mama won. Then it was time to try the main dining room out for dinner. This was the first night we were able to do it with Poppy. Find Emma in the wild. In the main dining room. We haven't been in a main dining room in a while. This is, it's new. I mean, it's, it, it's really pretty in here. It's really busy in here. Yeah, there was a, like a 15 to 30 minute wait for... It only lasted like It didn't minutes. last as long, but they said 15 to 30 minutes for this one, which is the Manhattan room. And then the two down there, downstairs, favor and taste. Favor and taste. They were like 45 plus minutes. So they're pretty busy yet. A little before six o'clock. Please repeat what you just told me to the camera. I got an appetizer and a salad, and a salad doesn't count because it's like eating air. But I just feel like I needed something healthy after having been on a cruise now for like a week and a half. 
please comment below if you think a salad is like eating air. Like, I would like to understand how many people think I that. I just needed something healthy, and I feel like a salad doesn't count as an appetizer. It's just healthy, but it it's not filling or anything. It's just kind of there. <laughs> Asian spare ribs and a summer roll. I did the chicken lettuce wrap so I get to assemble it, and that's a good amount of food there. And my Waldorf salad. <laughs> <laughs> that was a candid image, by the way. <laughs> mm, very good. Very flavorful, not dry. It needs that nice little crunch to it. It's good. Don't order the pork rib summer roll. Nah. Too sweet. It's kind of like cold on cold. It's very odd. Don't order it. <laughs> Oh, is that good? How good is the mac and cheese? Is it two thumbs up good? Two oh, a thumbs double thumbs up, up today. <laughs> <laughs> Barbecue with french fries. It is a bang bang chicken with shrimp. Uh oh. Look at that face. Emma's not happy. Nah. Go with the sausage first. Yeah. Alright, this is chicken. It's cooked well. The barbecue sauce is very, very sweet. Like like store brand barbecue sauce? No. No. We didn't do much else the rest of the night. We kind of just hung out and went to bed early since everybody was pretty tired. Till next time, get out and live a little. We will see you next week for Icy Straight Point. Almost bad. We're good.